Uh, Saturday, December the 17th uh, is the day that uh, the new Taoiseach uh, will be uh, elected. Uh, the Cost of Living Coalition has called a demonstration outside the Dáil for that day uh, on the basis that they believe a very broad group of trade unions, student unions, disability groups, anti-poverty and housing groups that we don't need a new Taoiseach, we need a new government. And if there wasn't enough evidence of uh, that need, uh, then we've had further evidence uh, of it today with the Banking and, Federation, uh, Banking and Payments Federation report, uh, which really puts shame, puts shame on this government, that we have seen four and a half times the rate of increase in rents in Ireland than the rest of Europe uh, has. Uh, Resulting in rents in my area, average rents, 2,400 euro, average rents in Dublin, 2,200 euro, totally unaffordable for a whole generation of young and working people who are now being driven out of the country. On top of that, we have the Good Body report last week <coughs> showing that commencements, and I don't know how you can say housing for all is working, that commencements of new builds of apartments uh, and houses uh, uh, have dropped very significantly in the last uh, few months, uh, with apartments uh, dropping by 29% uh, and house commencements dropping by 23%. We have another report then today from... Uh, the Citizens Information and the Disability Federation of Ireland showing that people with disabilities and mental health problems and very, very ill and vulnerable people uh, are not uh, being given anything like appropriate housing. Uh, and indeed, I raised last week how now to get a medical assessment for your housing need is taking about a year in my area. So very, very sick and vulnerable people uh, not being housed at all or put in utterly inappropriate uh, conditions. Now, against this background, it is absolutely beyond belief that at the end of this year, you will have underspent the housing budget by 700 million euro. And you claim that this is a success for the Housing for All uh, plan. And then I, I got some figures from Mel Reynolds, the housing commentator this week, and I'll just put these to you as questions you might wonder the answer about. Do you know how many new council houses Dublin City Council built in the first half of this year? Guess. Zero. Do you know how many new council houses Fingal built in the first six months of this year? Zero. Do you know how many Dunleary Rat Down built in the first six months of this year? Zero. Do you know how many uh, South Dublin County Council built in the first six months of this year? Zero. Zero. Now, are you serious in claiming that your plan is a success when you fail to spend nearly three quarters of a billion euro uh, against a housing crisis of that scale, and in the epicentre of the housing crisis, the four Dublin local authorities build no new council houses? Thank you, Deputy Minister, please. Uh, thank you, um, Boyd Barrett. Look, supply is increasing, and that is a fact and the government is focused collectively on implementing all strands of housing for all. And new public stock is not just delivered by our local authorities, it's also delivered by our approved housing bodies and also by uh, the LDA. And the question for you is that when it comes to this house making decisions, that might be difficult decisions, where trade-offs are involved, for example, in our planning system, uh, will you support a new consolidated planning bill which will be brought forward into this house, which will be with a view to uh, accelerating the delivery of the homes uh, that we all want uh, and that you say you want to see as well? And will you call on people to stop objecting to developments where appropriate developments are being proposed by local authorities or by the, L the LDA or by the private sector? And you shake your head, Deputy, but these are the relevant facts that really matter when it comes to getting construction sites uh, underway uh, all over this country. Much has been said in the last 10 or 15 minutes about uh, the issue of targets and whether we're building enough homes uh, and indeed uh, the extent to which the population in Ireland uh, has increased very significantly and I think it is worth making the point that the targets that were set in Housing for All uh, were on the basis of a housing need and demand assessment uh, that was informed by the ESRI who were engaged to undertake independent research. Uh, we have of course since then have had the 
results at a headline level of the census published by the CSO and it is intended to review the underpinning research and to update the tool when the full census data becomes available uh, from the CSO next year. Uh, but it should also be said that the preliminary census results for 2022 would show our population at 5.1 million indicate that the population of Ireland and the consequent overall level of national housing demand is broadly in line with that projected by the ESRI uh, for the same year. So for people to say that housing for all and the targets in housing for all uh, are completely uh, inaccurate and out of date is not backed up by the facts and not backed up by the results of the census. But we will, when we have those full results, uh, do uh, a reassessment of what the revised projection should be uh, to ensure that the homes are delivered. Uh, but the issue, Deputy, that we have to tackle here is ensuring there is sufficient capacity in the system in our public system and across the private sector uh, to deliver the homes that our people need all over Ireland. Uh, the government is leading on this issue through a whole range of different initiatives. Uh, we are seeing more public homes built than at any point in recent history. We have new affordable housing schemes that are now up and running. We have extended the help to buy. We have a first home shared equity scheme where transactions now are actually getting completed and people are purchasing homes that would not otherwise have been possible without the intervention and the direct involvement uh, of the state. Deputy. Minister, planning permissions are not the issue in the housing crisis. We have 80,000 planning permissions at the moment. The problem is that the private sector have no interest in solving this crisis. Why would they when they can command record house prices and record rents? They have a vested interest in not solving the crisis because if there was lots of cheap accommodation they couldn't make such big profits. But for you to claim against that background where the state has to intervene with catastrophic market failure causing human misery for tens and tens of thousands of people affected by this housing crisis, that public housing is ramping up, I just gave you the facts. In the first six months of 2022, in the teeth of this crisis, the four Dublin local authorities built no new council houses. And you have failed to spend 700 million euro that was allocated for housing at all. Now, what are you going to do about that? What are you going to do to ramp up the construction of local authority uh, housing? What are you going to do with that 700 million? Will you, for example, purchase uh, multi-unit complexes like Tahani House, like St. Helens Court, Ratmines Road, other places where people face eviction? Will you stop evictions happening while we face this emergency? Will you control rents and make them affordable? And will you deliver public housing uh, via our local authorities, whose job it is to do so? Um, yes, we will, Deputy. And you should also put the full facts on the record when you talk about the performance of the local authorities uh, in Dublin. The four Dublin local authorities currently have uh, 2,000 homes under construction on various sites and in excess of 3,700 others uh, in the pipeline for delivery at this point in time. Sh uh, Shangana is underway. The LDA are actually now uh, building homes in our country, building public housing, uh, building affordable cost rental housing. For the first time, through the direct involvement of the state. Uh, Minister O'Brien is also providing €100 million Euro to local authorities to help them clear legacy debt, uh, which will assist in accelerating the delivery of social homes on the sites that the local authorities own by taking away the debt related to them, and also putting in place a fund for the housing agency uh, to assist them in assembling land banks around the country uh, so that we can accelerate the delivery of public homes all over Ireland.